In this video, I'm going to introduce the new account that I have created, go into the reasons why I've created this account, and bring you some daily race A's, which I haven't done on this channel for a long, long time. Hey guys, and welcome along to another video. If this is your first time here and you are watching all sorts of sim racing related stuff, subscribe now and click the bell icon so you get notified of every video I upload and you don't miss a thing. Now for some of you who are familiar with my channel will be thinking, this is odd, he's in daily race A. He never ever normally does this. And you'd be right, but I have created an ERT Rory account. So let me give you some background as to how I arrived at this. Essentially, I held a poll on my Discord, just about the content on the channel. The community displayed to me that they wanted more streams around the daily races. Now, that really worried me as I avoid races like this, daily race A, and to be honest, some daily race Bs and Cs, like the plague, because sometimes I just hate combinations and most of the time it's an absolute wreck fest as we all know far too well. So I needed to have some sort of safety from my Eries account and I decided I'd create a new one and here it is, ERT Rory. So as I say the sole reason for this is so I can do all the races I want but just for fun and for video content and streams for everybody who wants to see it. Now on this account I don't care about safety rating, I don't care about driver rating, I don't care about the strength of lobbies, I'm literally doing it 100% for fun and so that I can have enough content for you guys to consume. So often I found myself having to do daily races and races in general that I was pretty poor at and just generally didn't like so that I could do content and videos for you guys. Now, that isn't a problem. I can live with that. That's a first world problem having to do Gran Turismo races that I don't like. But it directly impacted my overall aim on GT Sport that I say all the time, which is trying to get to some sort of live event. Because if I had to do a video or whatever, and those who are creators know, that the algorithm will bite you if you don't put a video out there. I was feeling pressure and had to do a video and if my only options was something like Daily Race A, like this one for example, then I just felt like I had to do it. And that would affect my driver rating, sometimes my safety rating. And as we can see, I need all the help that I can get getting to A plus and staying there so that I can be in the highest lobbies so I can get the most points and have the best chance of reaching our goal. So that's literally the only reason why I've got this, to take the pressure off so we can do things like this, race in daily race A, not really care and just have fun on things like videos and streams for you guys. So we won't be leveling this up, it doesn't matter to me, it will naturally level up as it is. Don't really care about the strength of lobbies, so I'll be doing the daily races and streams, as I say, with this ERT Rory account. So make sure you guys add me on this one as well, because I might be doing some lobbies or some sort of community events or streams or whatever with this one. So if you don't want to miss out, as they're normally friends only, make sure you add this ERT Rory account. But one thing I also want to mention is that I'll be doing the FIAs exclusively on the Eries account. Obviously that's where my main more serious racing is going to be, where I'm in the higher lobbies trying to get the most points as I can to try and reach my goal of getting to some sort of live event. So I hope that clears that up guys. Just wanted to address it because I know some people have seconds accounts for different reasons, some people have different regions, etc etc, but those are the reasons for mine. So now we've cleared that up, we can get on to the race that is in hand. So this is daily race A for this week. Well, I don't really say that very often. It's Willow Springs in this old school car right here. And to be honest with you, it is already a hell of a lot of fun. 
Now I didn't do any qualifying or anything like that. I thought, sod it, we're just going to go in, see what happens, see if we can make our way through the pack and see how we get on. So if you've been watching in the background, you'll see there's been some argy-bargy going on. It's been good fun, but we're now up to fourth and we've got a couple of laps to go. So I did this race three times, which again is completely new content to me. I don't remember the last time I did a daily race A as I go off onto the <laughs> sand there, but not as badly as that person over there who's off, off, off. But yeah, I can't remember the last time I did a daily race A, so already this new account is paying dividends. The Belgian, I think it's Belgian, my flags have not been top draw recently, or they haven't ever been top draw to be honest. Um, I chose history when I did my GCSEs for a reason, so I think it's Belgian. The guy in front is pretty much uncatchable at this stage, but I think if we keep our head down here and keep this beast under control, we could have a shot at second, which I believe, and I'm sure you guys who are geography teachers in the comments down below will let me know, is Danish. Let me know if that's wrong. Well, actually, don't bother. I know it's right. My confidence is so low with flags right now, I actually Googled it. <laughs> Can't believe that's what it's come to, but that's what it is. So we're after the day now. We've got one more lap to go. I'm just about to keep it on the start finish straight here. Let's see, as we've still got that 2.9, pretty much three second penalty to get rid of, which I'm going to do now as I come down the straight. Can we get rid of it? Yes, we got rid of it all and set the fastest lap in the process. That's something that is going to be quite prevalent, I think, as we climb up through the ranks, just naturally. As I say, not interested in levelling this one up. What happens, happens. That's it. Because I want to cherry pick the races that I do that I'm comfortable with. If I'm not in the FIAs or anything like that, I will just be doing the daily races on the Erias account, where I think that I will be able to improve my driver rating. So, for example, combinations like Group 3 at Brands Hatch, or certainly, probably my strongest, Group 2 at Suzuka. So, if those ones come up, you can expect to see them on my Erias account. But if there's stuff like, I don't know, Group 1 at Le Mans, it will most certainly be on the ERT Rory account. So we're coming around here on the final lap, we're coming around to the final corner. Let's see if we can put him under a bit of pressure here, see if we can get that second place, because this is a pig of a corner, especially in this car here. So I'm going to break, keep it under control. He's going to go off, he's going to bottle it in probably the biggest way possible, go straight on at the final corner, and we're going to come home in this first race of three, and the first one on this new account, in second place. Moving on to race number two now. Again, at the back of the pack, I haven't put in a qualifying time yet. I probably will do after this one because it will be the third of three and I actually want to bring home some sort of victory and get myself out of these lobbies. But again, it will happen whenever it happens. So already someone decides to turn right at the first left-hander so we're going to pick him off not a problem here somebody else is going real wide around this long and sweeping right-hander here the good thing about these races is that it's a great challenge to try and pick your way through the traffic it's something that i haven't done for a long time being on the other account but it is really good fun especially in these cars which are a real handful when the weight gets moving around so keeping it nice and tight here, coming back down the hill, we've got Lord Org here in our sights. There's some argy-bargy going on, cones everywhere at this point, hopefully it won't hit us, but this beast should eat it up anyway. Looks like there's been contact between Lord Org and the Brit there, so we're going to go up the inside of him. He doesn't seem happy with it. a lot of contact as we try and go past there. Hopefully he's not going to try and hit us coming into this final corner here. Flat out in fourth. Slowly 
on the brakes here otherwise you'll end up like the Italian there going straight on but we've managed to survive the Brit there is getting all out of shape almost more contact no there actually was contact as we come through to take seventh place the Spaniard there is going to go defensive and then he's just going to come straight back across the track allowing the German Lord Orb to lob it straight up the inside to be fair to him he made the move stick so we're back down to eighth I can't help but feel slightly agreed with that one definitely the Spaniard has something to do with some questionable defending there that is probably quite expected at this level who are most likely starters out or people who are just really struggling with the game so we're going to have to as I said before pick really carefully through this traffic to see if we can get a good result here so we're back up to 7th after a mistake from Lord Org and the Spaniard is just going to absolutely fly off the track carrying too much speed there down after the Budweiser balcony as we come through Monroe Ridge here now this track is actually one of my favourites this isn't the class I would choose believe it or not as this is well actually the more I do it the more fun it actually is I'm normally kind of more of a group one two three or four guy but this has been a great deal of fun so far so we're going to start lap number three here bearing down on the Italian who got a bad run there out of turn number nine getting it slowed down nicely here through Castro corner up towards rabbit's ear so the key in these cars is just to take it nice and steady through here don't turn too much otherwise the back end will start moving that heavy engine in the car does all sorts of things with the weight so you've got to be really really careful we're going to look up the inside here but it wasn't on so we're just going to tuck in try not to slide too much so we can get the power down nice and early up towards Budweiser balcony now I had no idea it was called this I had to look it up but pretty cool name nonetheless coming through here it's quite tricky this one you can find yourself going right off into the desert and trust me if you go off into the desert I've done it before you just keep going and going and going so we're right in Baddy is that how you guess you'd say it we're putting in a purple sector there but we're right in Baddy's rear view here and look to go up the inside into turn number nine he's actually the one car there so he's actually got the highest DR at this point I'm trying oh I tried to not bump him off but we ended up doing it again I'm gonna be a little bit more relaxed with this account I'm not gonna worry about it too much so yes I did bump him off a little bit there but to be honest with you it's once in a million you never see me do that so I'm going to give myself a mulligan for that one so we're up to fifth now by hook or by crook we've got two laps left and I hope we can get up to at least a podium position we've got the South African up in front here who knows we're there he's going a bit defensive coming in here everyone just sliding around all over the place the Portuguese guy here comes across our face oh so we had to get out of it there and keeping our eye on the rear view the Italian gives us what we deserve to be quite honest with you a little bit of a bump back out into the desert so again not really worried about it got what I deserved in that one no harm no foul all karma is now equal so it's almost like deja vu we're coming down through the sweep again towards turn number nine again hopefully I don't run him off the track this time he just turns into me there and we make the move count so we're up to fifth even before we get to this tricky turn number nine it looks like the Portuguese and the South African here are having quite the battle of their own so I'm going to sit in his slipstream just having a quick check behind to see where that Italian is is he within striking distance I don't think he is as we come into the final lap here so the South Africa is going to chuck it up the inside 
of the Portuguese here. We've got front row seats for that one. And again, the Italian is coming up the inside and he's going to do me again. Is he? He's, I think, going to get boxed out by the Portuguese guy here. As I keep my foot in it the whole way around the outside, he's going to bump us up again out into the desert there. But I'm going to keep my foot in it, try and keep that inside line. He gets a five second penalty for his trouble. He was 2 1 up in the ramming stake, so I'm not too worried or too upset that he's got that one. But what it has done, it's pushed us well away from him. As you can see, the leader right up there in the distance, there's no chance of getting him, and it's going to be a real struggle at this point to get a podium place. It's been quite a fun race, though, to be honest. There's been plenty of contact, there's been some rubbing of fenders and all this sort of stuff, but again, on this count I'm not really worried about it and what will be will be just want to have a good time so coming through the sweep here for the final time I wonder here if we can get the Portuguese guy here so I'm going to get on the power as early as I can the Italian is going to go off onto the dirt he's going to try and collect me there he makes a little bit of contact and then the Portuguese guy just blocks me out and we come across the line to take fifth place not the podium that i'd hoped for but it was a fun race nonetheless so now it got a little bit more serious i thought sod it let's put in a couple of qualifying laps and see where we end up so with a 1 minute 30.6 you can see i am three seconds clear at the top of the timing charts there so this race should as long as i don't get punted into the first corner should be a nice easy victory let's take a look so here we go then starting from pole we are three seconds quicker in qualifying than that guy behind so i don't anticipate unless we get punted into this corner here too much of a change this one and we should get the first victory on this new account so we're already seven tenths up when we get to a second we'll take a rain check because I don't really think we want to be watching me going around by myself for five laps on Willow Springs so let's just see if we can get that one second buffer I think we'll get it after this corner if we can get a good exit out of here yes there's our one second buffer and it just went up from there you can see we're 18, almost 19 seconds ahead of the field though, so there wasn't much to show you. But we are about to celebrate our first win on the new ERT Rory account. So I hope you guys understand why I've done that and I hope you're looking forward to all the future content I'll bring you with it. But for now guys, that's the end of the video. I hope you enjoyed the video. If you did, please hit the like button and make sure you subscribe to the channel if you haven't already. Thanks for watching and I'll see you in the next one. Cheers.